Here we are with our one of our first tests. We just did a pressure test on the uh, manifold itself. Out of uh, here, we got 82 degrees outside. I don't know if that caught that. I didn't pay attention. But uh, out of uh, what's three times eight? 24. So we got roughly close to 50 solder joints. Out of 50 solder joints, we only had one leak. Uh, here we got just a test. We took a piece of the corrugated metal and set beside it or behind it and uh, propped it up on a bucket just to see if we can do a test. Uh, we filled it up and set it there for about 15, 20 minutes, and the water was very, very, very warm. I would say at least 80 degrees. Here we're testing. This is just an open water hose, and it looks about it's going down. Still. I I can't tell from here, but it says 77.1, 77 is dropping. This is not very good for catching catching small things. Right now we're just doing an open flow. We're going to see if we can let it get down to its normal temperature, just the water hose. You can see here we got the water coming out of a water hose. Trying to keep as much of the hose out of the sun as possible so that it doesn't it doesn't taint the test. And uh, we're going to go ahead and let it get down as cold as it'll get, and then we'll close it off again. Stabilize it at 76. 76 degrees. Yep. 76.5, 76.6. No, I still can't see it very well. Well, I'm doing this on a Blackberry, fellas, so you're going to have to take my word. It says 76.5 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Okay. And that's about where it's staying. So we're going to cap it off and give it a couple, maybe 20, 30 minutes, and uh, test it out one more time, see what the temperature is coming out once we release the pressure on it again. All right, until then, uh, see you in a bit.